Hello, my name is Karen Fraser and I work at Westminster Adult Education Service teaching video editing for beginners with Final Cut Pro. Today I'm going to teach you how to create moving titles. Right, I'm going to show you how to create a moving title now and we can go straight away to this A uh, font uh, box here. We'll go to text again and this time we go to scrolling text. So I'm going to click on scrolling text. The video window appears. We go straight to controls. We highlight sample text and start typing a title. Okay, there's one title. We carriage return and then we go to um, okay, and then we can do another carriage return. Here, in the same way as as with the static title, we've got the fonts. So again, I'm going to drag the video window aside to the left and watch um, if I place the uh, playhead here a little bit further forwards we start to see the moving title of course it's coming out of uh, black from the bottom and it will go up to black at the top so if we press play we can have a quick preview of what it's going to look like Okay, and it's going to go all the way up the screen and disappear. Fine. So place this in the middle and you'll be able to see when you actually change the typeface what it's going to look like. Okay. I'm going to choose typewriter. Instead of plain, I'm going to select bold. Okay. I'm going to have a look at bold italic, see what that looks like. That's uh, all right. And I'm going to slightly increase the size. I'm going to change the color of it so that we've got uh, a different color. And if we have a look at leading, uh, I mean, um, leading, yeah, leading here in this case, this is the gap between the lines. So I will select this amount of gap again we've got spacing which is the amount of space in between the words um, fade size describes how much of a fade there is at the top and bottom of of the, the um, moving title so you can see the fade starting to come in here so I'm going to increase the fade size so it's quite large and you can change also the direction of the scrolling title from up to down those are the only two choices you've got so if we have a, a look then at how the fade works there it is it kind of makes a sort of rounded area or a, an appearance of being a rounded area at the top of the screen and there again at the bottom of the screen Good. So, gap width. Um, okay. So again, we can just drag this uh, physically straight onto the timeline. Uh, at some point, it's going to need rendering. That's why the red bar has has appeared at the top of the uh, screen here, at the top of the timeline. I'm going to put. The video uh, tab back in place. Um, one thing to bear in mind when you're creating a title, either of these, is that if you want to be able to revert to uh, your original title, it would be a good idea to just copy it to your browser window. So you do this just by dragging either title up into your browser window, and here you've got scrolling text which you could uh, then actually give a proper name to. So you could say directed uh, and um, copyright title. 
moving title, we might say, to make it really clear. And here where it says text, that would be, you know, your love text. Okay. Or love title. Okay, let's call it title. There we are. Okay. And as you know, everything goes in alphabetical order in, in the browser window. So here it is sitting at the bottom. Below directed is love. Okay. So here's the love title. We'll just play that again. There it is. And here is the scrolling on which, if we don't render it, it'll say unrendered. So we're just going to render it. Highlight it if you wish. Go to render only what needs render. You select the red color because that's the render color that's being indicated as needing rendering. And then allow it to render. And then you'll be able to see the moving title. So just press play by pressing the space bar. And then on it goes. Great. Okay, so that's how you can create a static title and a moving title. I hope you've enjoyed learning about making moving titles with Final Cut Pro today and that you'll join me for another tutorial soon.